Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm doing my update for Nightmare on Panning Street, and this is created by Jalon and Valerie, and I will have their channels linked down below. Um, you select six or 13 items and create your own goals, and they have uh, many, many, many prompts, which are so awesome. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have a lot here, and i got to do this fast because my kid's going to come in here. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started right away. Um, the first item I have is for Annabelle, a pigmented bold blush, and that um, prompt was created by myself, and I decided to go with the Patrick Ta Face Palette from 2021, and I wanted to use this five times. I, has, I have only used this once. I definitely have other blushes that I'm trying to pan, and I want to get through those first before I start touching other things, but I think I need to start really touching this because I only need four more uses. It should have been an easy rollout, but I am very hyper-focused on other things right now, so that's why it hasn't gotten the love it deserves. And then the next item is for Pet Cemetery Graveyard Project Pan item. So a resurrection and nod to Emily from Emily and Max. And this one I decided to go with my lipstick from MAC. Uh, it's MAC and Toledo. And this is the shade Victoriana. And I only have this much left. It's getting really, really small. And I would like to have this done. So I'm going to try and work on that really soon. Um, I want to complete this. That's my goal. And I think I want to also complete it because back to Mac. Like, it's going to be ending. And I want to make sure I get this out. So I'm going to really try to hyper-focus on that over the next coming month or two uh, and then we have oh and I have actually used that 15 times already and then the next one is insidious dreamt about purchasing and that was um, a prompt created by Leah and that one I decided to select the Charlotte Tilbury 2021 nude gasm face palette and I wanted to use this 10 times and of course you guys know I'm working on a face palette from Tarte so I haven't really touched this one yet again it's so beautiful and I want to use it but I just haven't yet and I will though soon the next one is from Candyman, a long name or takes five times to say, and candy themed. And I have created one of those prompts, which was the long name, and someone else had created the candy theme one. I don't have that name written down. I'm so sorry. But all of that information is on the Fantastic Lady site. If you guys want to go ahead and check those prompts out, there are so many good ones. Um, but this one, I brought in the Neostrata Hydro Filling Eye Gel Cream. And it says uh, Neostrata Correct Hydro Filling Eye Gel Cream. Um, this has 15 mils. And I am about, let me see, I am about here on this. I should be marking it because I think I was about here last time and I'm about here now. I'm using this one and two other eye creams. So I definitely try to get as much love as possible. And I think that's where I'm at. I may be a little bit less, but I think I'm about here. So I still have a little ways to go on that, but my goal is to complete that. And then we have the Invisible Man, either a concealer, a foundation, a primer, or a powder that conceals um, or like hides things, makes them invisible. Um, and for that, I selected my concealer from NYX in Bear With Me, and that's the serum concealer. And I want to use this 20 times. I have so far used it nine, and I'm hyper focusing on another one to get that out on in a project. So unfortunately, I haven't moved this since the last update, but so far, this is the amount of progress we've made with those nine uses. And the next. Up, uh, the next prompt we have is the Babadook, and that is weird name or deep dark place of your storage. And so I decided to go with, um, I all, I mean, this isn't the weirdest name. It's Westman Atelier. I think it's actually a very nice name, but it's also something that was way back in my drawer that I wasn't sure I was going to pull out. And I haven't actually used it yet because I, again, I'm working on other blushes and stuff, but I should be opening this soon. I keep saying that, but it's definitely something I have my eye on, but I know if I try it, I'm going to want to buy it. So that's why I'm pushing it back. But anyway, um, the goal is to complete that. Then I have Halloween, which are sheet masks. And for those, I selected two Sephora foot masks. And I have managed to complete these. So those are now done. And so I have, oops, I have one prompt rolling out this time. The next is Jaws, a water-themed item. And for that, I selected my Peter Thomas Roth Blue Marine Algae Mask. I am about down to here and I'm calling this done because I'm going to use it right after I'm done taking all this makeup off. I'm going to use this mask. So this is going to be one use, no problem. So that one I'm counting as completed because I don't want to keep it sitting here for another whole month. And also I'm like two days early. So even if I don't use it today and I use it tomorrow, it'll be done before the end of the month. And then we have Get Out, which is an item you want out of your collection. And for that, I decided to bring in my Scruple Spray from 
or well it's scruples and I got it from my hairdresser my salon and I'm all the way down to about here and I've been slowly going through this. I don't use it a whole lot, but it basically just gives your hair a lot of shine. My hair is gross right now. Don't even, it's gross. <laughs> Haven't done anything with it except for brush it and I barely brushed it. But um, yeah, this is all I have left. So probably another month or two, I'm gonna try to give a little bit more love to this and see if I can maybe even get that out in one month. Um, Cause it would be nice to have another MT for February. So that would be great. And then uh, the next update we have is for Nightmare on Elm Street. And that is a dupe for a product you're dreaming about. And I decided to pull in the Primera Gel. This is, a, it's a peeling gel. And this was gifted to me from Valerie. And she gave me this because she knows I love the Peter Thomas Roth one. And she was like, well, I don't, I'm not going to use these. I don't really like this kind of product. So I'm going to give them to you. And I was so thankful. Unfortunately, this one is really messed up. Like it's weird. Um, the smell of it is amazing. I love the smell, but when you put the product on your face and you start to do the little circles, it balls up and sticks and collects on like the little peach fuzz on your face. So you have like dead skin balls all over the, the face fuzz or peach fuzz that you have on your face. It's so gross. It is so gross. So I had to use this by putting it on my calves and legs. And actually my legs felt really good after, <laughs> but it was really not not a product I would put again on my face. And I do have another one of these that I want to get through. So if I do have to pull in another skincare item, I'll probably pull that other one in eventually. And I don't know if it's this project or another project, but I definitely want to get it out. Um, the smell again, like I said, it smells like limes. It's very fresh smelling. It's beautiful. Sorry, my outer eye is tearing. I'm trying so hard to keep it from smearing i've fixed this like three times but anyway it's just not something i would repurchase and it is by primera so in case you guys are interested in that i don't know if you would be but it's rolling out because it's empty so i have three goals met so far um and then we have child's play childlike theme or packaging and i decided to go with my charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade me or so no it's not medium yeah medium pillow talk <laughs> sorry it's a matte lipstick and I have used this a few times, so it has definitely gone down a little bit. But I am also working on MAC lipsticks right now and putting this aside because back to MAC, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get those out. Um, and then we have the Grudge Wish You Never Purchased. And that is the Tartist Pro Glow um, Highlight Liquid Highlighter in the shade Exposed. I actually squeezed this, where is my jar? I squeezed this into this Hemp's Lotion. So once I'm done... With my lotion in the in the shower i will be removing that one of course to my empties and putting this one in the shower so i can use that one all over my body and then once that lotion is done this item will be done so i want that out it's not a fan okay so now we're going to talk about the items that i am bringing in in the prompts that i rolled in so i have um randomly generated the following three uh dr jekyll and mr hyde which is a duo or double-ended product and for that, I decided to bring in my blush that my friend Kim from Teacher Loves Beauty sent me. It is the Blush Duo in the shade Chiclet from Ofra and Samantha March. And I have not used this yet, so I will definitely be giving that five uses. The next one I'm bringing in is for Reanimator, which the prompt was from Leah, I believe. And this is a serum. And I decided to select the Innisfree Green Tea Serum, which is full, brand new, never been squeezed or used or whatever. And this one I would like to complete. And the last one that I'm bringing in is Rosemary's Baby, a new item. And I've decided to bring in Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette. And I want to complete this side. I'll probably use it all over my face because it's not um, a very brightening powder. It's sort of like a translucent setting powder so I'm going to probably use that all over my face and I would like to start rolling some things out and getting some pans in my collection uh, because each individual pan counts as one point in my um, low buy so I want to go ahead and work a bunch of things out so that is everything that I have I really appreciate everybody watching I hope you guys are all doing really well don't forget to go check out Valerie on Instagram at VMRT and Jaylon at Jayloves Makeup here on YouTube and I believe it's Jayloves Makeup on Instagram as well so so go ahead and check them out. I will definitely have everything linked down below. Have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, please leave a red heart in the comments and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye everyone.